Welcome to Let's Play Jurassic Park on the new Sega Master System, 1993 Sega. It's a title screen. Uh, don't hang around, otherwise a demo starts. And here's the story with nice graphics. There's the island. So are the choppers coming in, landing. Here at Jurassic Park, there are many new victims of dinosaur attacks each day. The computer, which helps contain the dinosaurs, started malfunctioning. When the electric fences lost power, the dinosaurs broke through and escaped to unsupervised portions of the park. We've confirmed a total of four damaged areas of fence. You must hurry and return the dinosaurs to their areas or the park will not open and then it shows Alan Grant getting into um, you know, getting into a jeep and entering Jurassic Park I think it's Alan Grant anyway because it has, he has the cowboy hat and the white trousers and then we go to this area I mean the menu screen so you can do any of the four levels Triceratops, Pteranodon, Brachiosaur, Velociraptor you only get to do the visitor centre after you do all four of them if you lose a continue during um, at any time of doing the first four, you won't be able to get to the visitor centre. It's game over, and it says that the uh, you were too late or something. So you have to do the first four levels without losing one um, one of the three continues that you have. So continues are pretty much help you practice. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing in the first in this video. I'll be doing Triceratops and. Pteranodon, because they're the easiest, I think. That one's the easiest, Triceratops, then Pteranodon. Next video, I'll be doing Brachiosaur and Velociraptor. And then the third video, um, hopefully, I'll, I'll be doing Visitor Center. So, round one start, good luck. Um, a Triceratops. Okay, each, each, uh, the start of each level has a, has a Jeep round, where you can get more health. Um, if you lose all your health doing this, you, uh, you forfeit the rest of the round and you're not able to get the health bonus or the life bonus. Um, yeah, so make sure you get both, make sure you try to get all the dinosaurs so you can get both jerry cans. And there's also a life as well. That's it, that's the life. And every time you shoot one of the little dinosaurs, it gives you a blue health potion. Um, the stones knock uh, when you drive over the stones. Uh, they uh, they knock your aim off. Um, but if you shoot them during this this part, the boss part, they'll give you a, li a little bit of extra health. But they won't during the the, uh, the little dinosaur part. Yeah, that hurt. I just, I just, um, shot one of the stones there to get my health back. It's a nice little uh, nice little Easter egg that. There we go. And that's the end of that. So I managed to get both um, jerry cans. They're the most important things, and the life. And if you got the life, it says max life bonus one up. But only if if you got it. Um, go to the action stage, and uh, um, yeah, Alan Grant gets out of the car. Okay, so you have three weapons on the pause screen. If you're playing on a proper master system, you have to press pause on the console, which is annoying because you have to keep bending down. But luckily, I'm doing this on the emulator with a USB controller, and I've assigned the pause button to one of the buttons, so I just have to press the, uh, the, one of the buttons on my controller. So you get med kits; they get um, all your health back. So it's best to use those when you only have um, one bit of health left. I have. Um, five players which is life uh, lives three continues again if I use any of them I don't get to go to the visitor center I'm pretty sure of that um, yeah three weapons they're all tranquilizers rifle bazooka which shoots up a bit and the bomb um, it, you'll mainly be using the the rifle but each one has its own little little use um, and special part you have to use them on so yeah here's the uh, rifle um, duck here 
avoid a tornado because that hurts. That's it. Uh, the tornado turns around and then the lightning shoots and you can just um, go in the pit and duck it in the in the pit it creates. Okay, here's the dinosaurs. You have to shoot this one twice. Um, um, general rule of thumb is keep shooting the dinosaurs until they drop the coin. And that means they um, uh, they go away for good. We have to wait for it. There we go. Next area, little dinosaur here. Only, only needs one hit. You can do that like Ninja Ninja Gaiden, but you can't bounce off walls. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Um, that doesn't matter, I'll get their health back in a sec. But yeah, they can take you by surprise. Just wait for the flames to go. The moving flames and the flames on the ground never go. Just wait for the flame to pass over. That's it. Um, drop down there, drop down there. Drop down there. Whoops. Go up here for the red potion. That gets two bits of health back. And the blue ones only, only get one bit of health back. But it uh, doesn't matter. You know, wait here, drop down, then then shoot that one. There we go. This area. These dinosaurs will jump, so be careful. There we go. Another one here. The further away they are, when, uh, you know, your bullet is, the more the more of a bracket it becomes. So it's easier to aim. You're supposed to go in the water here, but you have to avoid the lightning. But it's, you can just jump on the branches and jump over it, which is easier. So I recommend doing that. Um, yeah, make sure you go up there because there's something up there. Let's try again. There we go. Jump over there. I think I think that's a. Um, uh, I think that gives you that's a, one of the coins, a large coin. Potion there, it's a red potion if you need any health. Little dinosaur. There we go. There's one more. And then here's the boss. Um, best to get the, the bombs out for this boss. It's the easiest easiest uh, way. I think it's the only way of getting him. Um, um, just stay on this branch. And jump when he touches the tree. Otherwise he'll knock you off and hurt you. You can only hurt the Triceratops when he's running. When he's running away. So if you try and chuck a... Uh, if, you, if you try and chuck a bomb when he's not moving, it won't hurt him. It only seems to hurt him if you... See, if you chuck it now, it won't hurt him. You have to chuck it... You have to time it so he's running away. It's, it's pretty tricky. But uh, just uh, just do it five times and that'll be the end of him. That's it. Perfect. Just make sure you jump when he... Uh, when he charges the tree, otherwise he'll knock you off and he'll touch him and he'll hurt you. No, it missed. There we go. One more hit. There we go. That's the end of that. The Triceratops has been captured. Yeah, and there's a little view of where you were fighting, which is quite nice. Clear bonus, 15,000 points. And then on to, the, on to the next stage. Again, you can choose which one, but I like to do uh, the Pteranodon next. Good luck. Um, this is an easier jeep stage, I think, because the 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 flying enemies are actually easier to hit. Here they come. Just make sure you get the uh, the uh, uh, the jerry can. It's the most important thing. There we go. Need that jerry can. There we go. Should be a life as well. In each of these stages, are two jerry cans and a life if you can get it. There's the life, good. I was scared I might have missed that. There we go, that's the end of them. And again, these the stones provide health only in the boss stage of this, of the jeep stage. 
so you have to shoot the uh, the Tyrannodon, whatever it is. It tries to drop a stone on you. Just you can shoot it out of the sky if it's aiming for you, and then then, then it tries to peck you. So yeah, that provides health if you need it. Just keep shooting it as it's moving in, and again as it swoops in, because um, it'll, it'll try to drop a stone on you. Then it tries to peck you. There we go. No, that managed to get me. So make sure you get a stone for the for the health. Let's keep shooting the ground until until it appears. Um, it's one more bit of health. One more hit. Oh, I should get it as it's dropping the stone. You can only really get it as it's moving. See, I can't can't get it now. Only as it's moving. There we go. And it does a wheelie. <laughs> As if to celebrate. There we go. So I've got the life. And then Alan Grant gets out of the Jeep and, and he's on his way. Go to the action stage. But make sure you have the uh, the rifle out for this bit. This bit's quite tricky. If you fall in the water at any point, it's instant death. So don't fall in the water ever. Um, go up here first. Okay, then go over here. Okay, shoot the dinosaur three times in a nice pattern like that because if you shoot when it's hurt the bullet goes right through it so you have to shoot, you have to wait a split second for it not to be hurt anymore get that, uh, wait for the boulder to go over you, then just drop down here like that, perfect, there we go, because you want to be careful about the water um, no that was the wrong way to go um, it was that door I wanted to go in, I shouldn't have dropped down, that was that, that door I wanted to go in there so just drop down there again and then go in the, uh, that area again. There, uh, there we go, that's where I wanted to go. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah. Don't fall in this water, just hang off the ceiling. In this game, if you're ever in a tricky situation, usually hanging off the ceiling will uh, will solve it. Because uh, Alan Grant seems to be able to hang off every single ceiling he sees. Um, he can even, he, he even go up at an angle. The only, the only thing he can't get past hanging is, is uh, a, a right angled corners. You can get past other angled corners like that. So yeah, don't fall in the spikes because they'll hurt, but the blocks will fall over the spikes so you can just have an easy way back. So that was a med kit and life there, which is quite nice. So that's three med kits I have now. Um, and then go in there. Uh, and then go across. Go in this door. Another dinosaur will probably appear there, but don't wait around for it. Go down here. Uh, the drips won't hurt. And then take the lift all the way up here. Okay, jump up. Another dinosaur appears. One, two, three, like that. Remember to time that. And then go in here. So that's where I was before. That's the door that led, you know, that led me to there. So now just hang off the ceiling. You can go up at an angle as long as it's not a right angle. As long as the slope isn't. Uh, as long as it's a slope of. Uh, of one, two, oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> as long as it's a, as long as it's not a right angle, vertical. Yeah. Anyway, go up here and then hang here. You you, you can hang forever. There's no limit because uh, Alan Grant's really strong in this. And then drop. Go over there again. Then hang here and then wait. Otherwise, it would be really difficult to to time um, both lifts, uh, both platforms to to go at the same time, uh, to arrive in the same place, so you can jump across, so, um, so just hang there. Go up here, nope, didn't make that jump. The boulders never stop coming, so just wait there. Um, little trick here, you can get another potion if, um, instead of hanging off this, just hang off it, make it go, then jump on top of it, and then that's how you get this potion if you want it, like that. There we go, I, I didn't get the potion because I jumped too early because the, uh, the boulder was coming, and I didn't need the potion, but that's how you get that potion. Okay, uh, yeah, make sure you have your bazooka out for this bit because of these enemies. So you need your bazooka here. There we go. Let's get that. Oh no, I did. I did get that one. Um, yeah, the blue potions only get one bit of health back. The red ones get two. The Jurassic Park coins are worth more coins. I think they're worth two or something. 
I'm not entirely sure. Don't fall off, otherwise you'll die, but you can fall off at the end automatically like that. And then you get to the boss area, which is the Pteranodon. The, the trees never stop coming, so just take your time. You have to, it's best to have your, you... You can use any 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 weapon here, but I like to use the gun because it's easiest. You can use the bombs if it's underneath you, but then you have to change, and by the time you've changed, it's probably already gone. So, so just keep your rifle. That's it. Every, um, two shots are needed um, to take one bit of its health away. So yeah, it's another uh, another few hits needed. Yeah, um, six hits left. Yeah, the trees never stop coming, and the time never stops. Uh, it, 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 uh, the time is never ending. So, so, so just take your time on this, but, uh, but don't fall off the bottom. That's it, just um, five more hits, jump over this bit. Just make sure you always know where your next platform is coming, because uh, you, you don't want to be left stranded. That's it, just four more hits now. Whoops. <laughs> bit annoying. Jump over it there. Try no, that was too late. Good. Three more hits. Um, two more hits. No, it's doing uh, the, the bottom one again. Stay on this platform, actually. Because there's more room to manoeuvre on this platform. Just one more hit now. No. There we go, that's the end of that. And then even though dropping would have killed you, he can drop at the end. And the trees weren't infinite. The Pteranodon has been captured. Yeah, the trees weren't infinite, they weren't actually that high. Clear bonus, 13,000 points. And that is that. So we're back to the menu screen, at which point I will end this video. This, that's part one finished. In part two I'll do um, Brachiosaur and Velociraptor. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.